Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macro. It's time for episode three of season three, four, pardon me, of Barry. Barry is snitching. I can't think of a cleaner word for it. Talk to the FBI in exchange for a deal. He gets to take somebody with him into his protection. We all assume that somebody is Sally. She's not going to want to... Because... Uh, anyway, uh, press the like button for the algorithm and subscribe. Let's get to it. We're really never getting that music, you know? Fair enough. Pretend it wasn't fucking sad. Oh, sand. The daughter. This is a really famous picture. picture Patrice O'Neill looks just like that. Oh, it's really famous, but I, I'd recognize it. Yes, but it won't interfere with their schedule. They, they'll record on Thursdays. What are we even doing? That cooks s'mores in its pocket. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> I bought one of those. It works fine. Oh, sorry, Charlie. It's a show about gadgets, but you have to listen and imagine what the gadgets look like. That is wild. There is a link <laughs> to YouTube. <laughs> You've got some, some big protocols in place to protect your witnesses, right? If a defendant is willing and determined, it can be hard. But that's usually ex-military, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> <laughs> ex-military. Oh. If he's determined, it could be hard. That's wild. I'm just going to go into hiding. They always find you. I've had many cases like this, but I can't talk about them. You're not very helpful, they're sir. they're classified? No. They're really disturbing, and I just don't like thinking about them. <laughs> We're in a good position to continue to stick to the facts. And when you're outside this office... Keep your mouth shut. Are we gonna fuck up Barry's deal somehow? It's the only real move we have. Would Barry kill him though? I don't know. If I invited a reporter to my theater. What do we do? We have to stop that article from coming out. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah, they, they started working with each other on a job and then it just grew into something. You know, they're actually really in love. That must be nice. Can you say they're built? We looked into this Sally Reed. Dear Sally. Now, Dear. she'll have to completely give up her old life, her family, her friends. There's a whole nut. How does she feel about this? She doesn't know yet. I think she'll be into it. Actually, I know she'll be into it. You know, she said I, um, she said I make her feel safe. Holy shit. And, uh, can I talk about that? Absolutely. I mean, it's only fair you get a chance to respond to the accusations that Gene Cousineau's been making again. I told you had to be anonymous, you idiot. He's saying that you killed her. You kidnapped him and that you threatened his family. Well, that's all true. I apologize for all that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So... That's a yes. You don't be fair! You don't be fucking fair! It's if Gene Cousineau stop telling my life story, that would be fucking fair! Tell Gene Cousineau to shut his fucking mouth! You're not making yourself look great, Barry. Hello. Hi. I'm Sally Reed. Uh, and Glasses are a really good look. I learned my craft from Mr. Gene M. Cousineau, and today you will be learning his techniques through me. So she is Malcolm X, and Gene is Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> Pretty much like every fight that I get into with my sister. <laughs> that was an ugly moment. I can, I can see that now. Uh -huh. it was why would you think that Gene's trying to railroad him? Well, I told him what Mr. Cousineau said to me, and he didn't seem very happy oh, about it. Oh, Jesus. You spoke to Cousineau? Oh, yes, I did. Let's go have a chat in my garage. Oh, shit. That could go all kinds of ways. What's the matter? Come on, Raven. Oh, he's saved. Mr. Raven. You got a new code name? Save. Mr. Lonely? 
A goof. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your associate? Do the busted face. Y'all break up? I heard he sold you out. Oh, oh. Looking like Boo Boo the Food, nah. This is no cocaine. Fuck you. Have you ever been called Boo Boo the Fool before? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I have. And it's very hurtful. No. Oh. We have to stop communicating. Seriously. Here's what I need you to do. Keep your mouth shut. Impossible. It's an impossibility. Hey guys, take five. Hey buddy. Take a break. Who's this? Oh, what's his face? Or we will wipe you. Oh. Crime can never go smoothly. You see Nanko Barry? He needs his help. Fucking help you out. I fucking shame your fucking ass! Fuck you! Fuck you! He's so gone. Are you sure that this is Lon's house? Yes, I'm positive this is. What are you doing? <laughs> Crazy! What did you just do? Uh. Hurry up! That was illegal! Ah, shit. That's a kitchen in there. <laughs> I love how you heard all that noise, he's just fine walking back the other way. Right, come on, we got a snack. No, no, everything's stored in the model. I'm telling you, everything is stored in the model. That's a nice fun little shot. I think you've got to get the hardware. I love that. Door just open. She would call it the Gene Cousineau article, but yes. Worried. I can't get a hold of him. Last time we spoke was this morning. What a great shot. In a interview on your article. Did he tell you where he was going? No. Oh. Well, he said he needed to check on a victim's father. Yeah, you know that is? buddy. And then I saw that everybody brought in movie scenes, so I just Googled famous movie quotes and. <laughs> Hilarious. Anything. No. I'm lame. I'll just excuse myself. You She's so me. weird. You say so. Like, I don't know. Complexity? Hope? Desire? The human condition? Or do you just want to be charming? Damn. Oh. So you're not an artist? Nope. You're just a perfect pair of tits. Couldn't see them, but sure. Can't say. Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> what? You're afraid we're all going to be bowled over by your intellect? No. Jesus. I was selling on this. You're being mean. Oh. oh, I'm being mean? Oh, what? So now I'm dealing with a child. What? Nobody's ever been mean to you before? Why? Because your personality, your big brain, your taste in old movies, or maybe it's just because they all wanted to fuck you. Stop it. Don't think. Now, say the line. I'm big. Mary Jean. Mary it's Jean. the pictures that got small. Locating the parts of ourselves that we don't like and making them our... our our paints, our... That was abusive. Oh, my God. Well, it's part of the work. It's Cousineau's method. Just because it was done to you does not mean you need to do it to us. <sighs> we'll do some mirror exercises. Soft talk suckers. So to speak. I'm just saying. It's abusive. Ugh. Hey, look, um... We got a situation. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Kusinow, Gene Kusinow, he's my acting teacher. He's, uh, he's talking to the press. Uh-huh. And, um... I just use his hands. This makes him so sad. I need a, I need a dog catcher. <laughs> I don't know if I need to spell this out for you anymore. Then I already am, Hank. <laughs> oh, I feel so gross. Are you looking out for me, Barry? Not at all. Yeah. No, I mean, no, he's got information on you and Cristobal. That's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. He said he, he's got a lot of information on you. Wow. Wow. Damn, it hurts. I'm not lying. You're lying to me right now. Damn sure is. Barry, I've been nothing but loving and good friend to you. And, like, all you do is you take. And take this, and this is coming from my heart, man. We've been friends for a long time. Jesus. Gross. Then why are you talking to the feds? <sighs> right on your fucking lap. I wouldn't talk to the feds. You think I'd do that, motherfucker? You think that's the kind of person I am? That I would talk to the feds? Hank. Not anymore. Shut up. Hank, 
Do what I say, because if I fucking get out of here, man, you are. The day you get out of the prison is my fucking birthday, man, okay? Oh, you're a tough guy now. <laughs> Fuck up. Why don't you enjoy hell? Dead. You murdering, self-centered, lying, Fuck fucking you. narcissistic piece of shit. Oh, my God. That was horrific. That hurt. I just didn't like it. Hey. Jim? He did not. Hi. He's trying to make me speak to him. Did you do a one man show for Lionel O'Neill? Damn. <laughs> you can't be trying. Ain't going to be talking to anybody for a long time. And he just showed up on your doorstep like this. Yes. Um, <laughs> please say something. What the hell did Jim do? Yeah. Is that German? Jim's kind of a f monster too. I have one scene and I have to nail it. I need your help. Will you do it? Awesome. I'll look into it. <laughs> you... He's a cop killer. I don't really know what to tell you. Come on, man. Calm down. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Shit's going down. It's special. It's 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 you know, I'm, I'm bringing Sally Lee with me. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Reinform. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Matt, Matt. I wish I could brag about 100% success rate. We've lost a few over the years, broken a few eggs. She might flush. That guy's here to kill me. <laughs> He's got a weapon on him or something. That guy's here to kill me. That's one of Agent Curtis's men, Barry. What? I, no, that's Search not. Him. He's got a weapon on him or something. I, I thought he was with you me. guys. No, he's with you. Shit. This is for Christopher and Hank. That said don't work. <laughs> When this show does violence, I gotta be honest, it's always awesome. It's always super over the top and so much fun. This guy looks amazing. Hey, look at this scene. Joey! Joey! Oh, shit. Who is that? He looks very familiar. Where the hell is Berkman? Fucking amazing. All right. That was episode three of season four of Barry. Where to begin? Nothing nice to say. Oh, it was a great episode. That'd be the only nice thing I'd say. Everything else was just awful. I was the meta context of it being a great show and a great episode. Nothing good happened here, I had to say. Uh, I will say this. The show has really assassinated Barry's character. Not really. I just think it's a cute pun. But this is an unbridled kind of view of who, who Barry is. I'm pretty sure I've used this example before. They're justified with Boyd during a particular season. Um, and Tony Soprano in the last couple of seasons and Walter White in the last few seasons. Where the character has, that's always been there. It's just that we were typically looking at things through their point of view. So, it doesn't feel as awful as it is. And then every once in a blue, the show takes you outside of their point of view and puts you in the other person's point of view. Hanks, for example. Um, and I just, it, you just come to the conclusion, Barry is like, horrific like he's a bad guy like a bad guy like beyond the murdering part <laughs> he's not a very good person like be, like but all those things have been there he's always been obsessive when it comes to Sally he's always treated Hank like garbage it's just before it was kind of played for giggles and now it's not 
Now you get to kind of just see it. And you realize how gross it is. That hurt. That Hank and Barry scene hurts. And then because, you know, I like crime stuff. Them threatening each other over the phone. Like, when I get out, we're about to go. I was so here for that. I want to see it so bad. Please. Um, there aren't really any good characters in the show. Like, good people. They're all great characters. No good people. Uh, Barry's awful. Sally is a complete mess. Uh, she's probably the best person on the show. Main character on the show, all this considered. Um, but even her, there is the, uh, C word situation. I won't say because I'm going to get demonetized. And, um, her yelling at the student, some real truths about her, but I, I felt like that was to get the best out of her and it worked. I'm sorry. I'm team Sally. I'm team Jean on that. All these bums. That's abusive. Yeah. Well, you want to make it or not. You don't want to make it fine. That's fair. Great. Don't want to take abuse for this thing. Completely understand. You're not forced to be here. Beat it. And he did. Fair enough. But this lady who's got a gig, she's going to make it. At least, assuming Sally doesn't step all over it because she's narcissistic. Um, and then, I wouldn't say I thought he was good last season. But he hadn't shown me anything awful just yet. Uh, Jim Moss. He yelled at Gene, whatever. He set up Barry. Good. He, what did he do to, what did he do to the, the writer? Nothing good. Hypnotized him. He was covered in dirt. He, uh, <laughs> he verbally lobotomized him. Like, what just happened? Whatever it was, it's a horrible thing to do to somebody who's doing their job. Uh, and then we all know about Fuchs. Fuchs is awful. It is what it is. He's oof. he's probably at the worst. I ain't never given him a pass with like trying to say Barry every season. He does it every season, every season. He then screws it up. They're on a complete hamster wheel. He might be the worst, the worst person on the show. He's so completely self interested. <sighs> now that we got all the kind of stuff out of the way. Some of these shots are so good and so much fun. Gene and his lawyer break into that house where none of this makes any sense, both narratively and visually. Like, I just heard you crash and fall down. How are you up walking like nothing's wrong? <laughs> it was so well done. It was all one shot. It was great. As was the final sequence with uh, the assassination attempt on Barry. The show's so good. It's so good. Anyway, um, post your comment down below. Like, share, subscribe.